It's the content that matters, okay? You cannot come and kill yourself. <laughs> That's when Rain knows that he wants to fall. Or oh, if you were in four different outfits. Hi guys and welcome back to Oin Brandy's channel. If this is your first time stopping by, you are most definitely welcome. But if this is not your first time, welcome back. I know you guys like gist, so I know you're going to love this video. So this might not be the most like perfect setup, perfect lighting situation because I forgot to bring a lot of things that I normally used to film, but it's okay. I know that you guys will still enjoy it either way because it's the content that matters, okay? It's the content that matters. So let's get right into this video. I'm going to be answering some of the frequently asked questions that I've been getting about planning my Nigerian wedding. I'm happy to answer the questions. Obviously, I can't go into full details about some things just for privacy purposes, but people want to know. People want to know the tea, okay? And I'm here to give you guys the tea or whatever. Let's get into that. But first, let's appreciate my makeup and my hair, guys. <laughs> BFW wigs on the hair, BFW beauty on the makeup. Multi-talented queen, okay? Okay, let's go. The first question I've been getting a lot is why we chose to do our wedding in Nigeria as opposed to doing it here in Canada. If you're new to my channel, I'm a Nigerian that has been living in Canada for the past seven years and we're going to be having our wedding in Nigeria. Even though most of our friends are based here, most people that we know are actually based in Canada, we're still having our wedding in Nigeria and here's why. First of all, majority of our family members so my family members and my fiance's family members are based in nigeria majority of them are based there i feel like it's just easier to gather people there if we do our wedding here a lot of our family members may not be able to come but it's easier for us to gather ourselves and then a few friends that are here and then go back to nigeria if that makes sense the second thing that was really really serious for me and my fiance is the quality of wedding that we want right there's this thing about having your nigerian wedding in nigeria that just differentiates it from having it anywhere else in the world i feel like you can't be as buoyant you can't be as extra as you want to be it's possible to do it don't get me wrong it is possible to do it but you're going to be spending almost three or four times the amount that you spend in nigeria because obviously labor costs you have to think about the availability of these vendors these vendors are in nigeria they're waiting for you to book them but here it's going to be a little bit more difficult you need to be a little bit more like researched everything will now be more expensive so it's cheaper for us to actually have the quality of wedding that we want in nigeria than to have it here in Canada. I hope with this few points of mine I've been able to convince you and not confuse you as to why we're having our Nigerian wedding in Nigeria. Are we using an event planner? And the answer is yes. Some people don't really use event planners in Nigeria because obviously they can just plan it themselves. But we were really particular about using event planners. And I think in this day and age, a lot of people are actually moving towards using an event planner because you just realize that you cannot come and kill yourself and i'm not there as well so it's just like my, our families our moms are really doing great like my mom and my fiance's mom top tier work they're killing it okay love you guys if you're watching this because they watch my video so love you love you mommy love you mommy <laughs> love you both we're using an event planners but our moms are basically like coordinating everything they're working hand in hand like with the event planners to give us you know a killer wedding party and i feel like it's also easy to use an event planner easier for me personally because there's so many ideas i have in my head but i need someone that can pick my brain and just bring those ideas out i don't want to start trying to explain and then i'm not passing the information properly but then my event planners they're like me they're very particular uh, the mood board was top notch the decoration that we're getting is top notch like everything is going smoothly so shout out my vampires I'll tell you who they are after they've killed and executed the wedding okay why did we have a big introduction ceremony <laughs> if you guys are not Nigerian an introduction ceremony is just when families come and meet families if that makes sense like Olu's family comes to my family to introduce themselves and say their intentions like what they want what's my pluck a flower in the garden okay and what <laughs> so they come and say their intentions and also they come and meet my family you know they bring gifts and it's nice and fun just like an introduction as the word implies they're introducing themselves we're introducing ourselves to each other usually this thing is small like people can literally do it in their living rooms or in their house or outside of their house or something but for us we couldn't do 
do that number one is because if we wanted to do it we can't actually do it within our living room because we live in an estate and you know that in an estate houses are built in a particular way our living room or our house would not have been okay to accommodate so many people and also you don't just want anybody to just come into your house if that makes sense number two we couldn't do it in our compound because we had our introduction in july and july in nigeria is like rainy season that's when rain knows that it wants to fall it will not fall any other time of year but that july it must fall and it's so funny how a day before our wedding our introduction rather it was pouring but the day of rain did not now fall but anyway we did not want to take the risk so we had to do it in a hall if that makes sense we planned to have like 50 people at our introduction ceremony we had about 200 people show up <laughs> i mean it was still fun it was still nice but it's not like we plan to have like a big introduction ceremony it's kind of just what happened and would i have it any other way nah not really i enjoyed i had fun i loved it my fiance loved it and that's all that matters uh, this one is a little bit cringe for me because you know we don't like talking about money on youtube but to be honest i'm not promising but i will try okay after our wedding i'll actually tell you guys like everything we spent on the vendors that we used and how much ballpark you know how much those vendors actually cost for now i'm not going to be going too in too much detail about the budgets which is what people want to know they want to know how much things are costing and our budget for the wedding i'm just going to tell you that different people have different levels and different qualities of things that they want okay someone might be able to successfully plan a nigerian wedding for say five million naira and that is good and it'll be beautiful and it'll be marvelous and it'll be amazing okay we are having a mega wedding not even in terms of the things that'll be there in terms of the guests okay we're having about a thousand guests at our wedding meaning that our wedding is a huge one so if you're even thinking about food alone per head usually food vendors charge anywhere between like four five to seven thousand or eight thousand per plate of food now think about that multiplied by one thousand you should already start doing some math in your head i'm not going to say too much about that but just know that for our wedding we're spending upwards of like in fact, I won't say any of that. <laughs> Just know, if you want to have a nice Nigerian wedding, all these weddings you're watching on Instagram, all these Bella Nigerian weddings, do you know how much they spend on them? Plenty money. Why don't they spending that much? But plenty money. When they start coming and telling me, first of all, vendors are charging in dollars. At that moment, I sighed out. And guys, let me tell you one little trick, okay? If you are young and, you know, you've been in a committed relationship and, you know, you have a good relationship with your parents, so you just get married now because your parents most likely help you, help you, they will help you with, with a significant amount of money towards your wedding. I think that's what is really our saving grace and that's what's really helping our parents are contributing a lot. Let me just say like 80%, 80% of our wedding. So we're not really spending too, too, too much. The only things that we're really spending on are nitty gritty details of what we want, but every other thing our parents are really helping us with it let's just say if you want a nice nigerian wedding upwards of don't check me okay i'm running i'm running out i'm running i'm running <laughs> because i don't want anybody to come for me guys i don't know like this is about someone's internet i don't know what's going on there please don't come for me oh. <laughs> The next question, well, this is not really a question. It's also going back to the last thing I talked about, about budgets and stuff. Instead, I decided to kind of break some things down for you guys and tell you guys so five things that we're going to be splurging on for our Nigerian wedding, okay? I did this on TikTok already, so if you don't follow me on TikTok, TikTok is where the information is going up day to day. Follow me on TikTok right now, Oi Brandy. Follow me on Instagram, Oi Brandy. Follow me everywhere, Oi Brandy, okay? Five things we're totally going to be splurging on. The first thing is our outfits. My babe and I are like, we know what we want to look like. And we're going to be spending a good amount on our clothes. To be honest, we didn't go for like the toppest, toppest, toppest Nigerian designers. Because I'm telling you that these people charge you in US dollars, okay? There's this particular designer that I really, really, really wanted to work with. But I couldn't. Just too much money. It was actually just too much money. So I just let it go. But just know we're spending quite a bit on our outfits. I'm wearing four outfits. Well, me and my partner are wearing four outfits. Where we have a one day wedding so our traditional wedding in the morning our church wedding then we have our reception ceremony and then we have our after party so for those four events we're going to be wearing four different outfits period so the second thing that we're going to be splurging on is food 
we're going to be spurging on food, the food that we actually serve our guests at our wedding. Usually caterers have different combos of meals that you can pick from, but the one that I picked from was very, very important because you guys know that your girl is a pasta girl. I love creamy pasta, I love pasta, I love shrimp, I love seafood. So I had to make sure that, you know, there was like seafood pasta with tiger shrimp on that menu. We had to have some filet mignon level of <laughs> steak. There's going to be mash and steak and then there'll be the regular like jollof fries, fried rice, Chinese. For the Asian food, right? We decided to go with Thai instead of like Chinese food. You get where the nitty gritty details that I'm talking about is going into. It's all, it's all money. It's all money. Just know that we're spending a bit of money. And then we have dessert, we have grills, we have small chops. I'm not going to talk too much. Let's go. Next thing I'm going to be splurging on is photography and videography. And to any 2022 bride, any upcoming bride, let me tell you, all these other things don't matter if you don't get pictures, okay? If you don't get videos, it doesn't matter. So please make sure that even if you're sacrificing in other areas, do not compromise on the quality of videos and pictures that you want on your big day because that is what will leave past you. Me, I want to be one of those people that their grandchildren will be posting them on Twitter and saying, look at my grandmother on her wedding day. She slayed, period. <laughs> you all know, come for me. You guys know that I'm, I'm actually a very like, modest person on a normal day but your wedding is a once in a lifetime thing so why not next thing i'm going to be spreading on is our hotel we're not staying like the most expensive hotel in lagos but i just made sure that the hotel room that i was getting was like one of their top ones that's because i wanted space you know a wedding day when different people are in your room photographers videographers everybody's just in your room i didn't want to feel choked up i didn't want to feel like uh tight so i just made sure that i got something convenient i think that's it basically oh yeah make what are we talking about makeup and hair what are you talking about if you don't know i'm a makeup artist and hair stylist so it's very important to me how my wedding makeup looks and how my hair looks on that day so hd frontal yeah hd frontal <laughs> and the makeup there's a particular makeup artist i wanted to use initially when they brought the bill they brought the bill on a platter like this i said hey jesu christy <laughs> i ran away okay i ran away but i got another makeup artist that will give me similar to what she will give me and it was more affordable hairstylist as well top 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 people okay so yeah, those are the things I'm splurging on for my Nigerian wedding. If you have any more questions that you want to ask me relating to this wedding, go ahead and put them down below and trust me to make another video answering those questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was fun. If you would like to see more things like this, more videos about me planning my Nigerian wedding, leave it in the comment section below and trust me to make the videos. Tell me what kind of videos you want to see. Tell me what kind of content relating to the wedding that you want to no, trust me, I would, I would produce those videos for you. Easy peasy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you so much. Toodles. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and follow me on all my social media platforms. Bye.